More and more Central Florida law enforcement agencies are buying drones. Sumter County, home to most of the villages, is investing in the newest and best drones. And tonight, we're seeing why. Yeah, the Sumter County Sheriff's Office says it now has 12 high-tech drones, one for every shift, flying them several times a day. And some two dozen people are alive today because of these radio-controlled machines. News 6's Eric Von Aiken shows us how they're getting results, protecting our community. The helicopter is quick, but a drone is faster. It provides almost instant air, instant air support for our deputies. Sumter County's undersheriff understood in 2020 what drones could do for his law enforcement agency. Time saving, officer safety, citizen safety. It just, there was so much stuff that was a bonus for the drones. It was a no brainer not to get them. What he didn't expect was just how much they would do. I was like, wow, they can do basically everything our helicopter can do, and then some. We can get a drone in the air uh, anywhere from uh, two to three minutes after we get a call once a unit goes on scene. Two to three minutes? Correct. As opposed to 15, 20 minutes for a helicopter. The helicopter getting it because they've got to they've got a flight check it, they've got to get it running. Sumter County is one of the smallest in Central Florida by size, but on any given day, the population doubles because of the people traveling through the county on the turnpike. And while the villages is ever expanding, Sumter County is home to untouched rural land, thick woods, where more people are ending up lost like this woman with her dog. How many lives would you estimate you saved with um, these drones? Honestly, I, I would say probably upwards to 20, 20 or more. Sergeant Matthew Perry runs the drone program for Sumter County. These drones, it can be flown on in a single shift anywhere from one to I'd say five times. There's busy days where, where we've they're using the drone left and right. He had the flying eye in the air in minutes and found the missing woman using the infrared camera. So in a, at night when you can't see anything with the naked eye, that thermal imaging camera can show you a person in a field or an armed murder suspect like this man, according to investigators, or a man on a hotel roof with a gun who just fired at police through his hotel room door. He'd come out to Miller Motel somewhere and he got up to the flat area of the roof up there. The undersheriff says this was one of the first success stories. Deputies got the drone over the roof before the sheriff's office helicopter could even get in the air. They spotted the man with the gun. He surrendered and they surrounded him. And that's, you know, that's one reason we got the drones is for the rapid response and citizen safety. And it paid off in this incident. And if you're wondering how much each of these costs, they're about $10,000 when you consider the extra batteries and things like the special cameras. But also consider this, just flying the helicopter one night, that could easily run $10,000, just one night. In Sumter County, Eric Von Aiken getting results, News 6.